Discovering the Nucleus, a history timeline by kscience.com. This here is a Greek scientist called Democritus. In the 5th century BC, this Greek scientist stated that all matter was made of lumps. All matter was made of lumps. And all of these lumps were called atomos. So fast forward to 1804 and a scientist called John Dalton stated that atoms existed. But atoms couldn't be broken up into any smaller pieces. And that atoms couldn't be broken up into any smaller particles. We now know that to be not true because atoms are made of protons, neutrons and electrons. But he did say that each element had a different atom, which is true. Each element had a different atom. So in 1804, John Dalton wrongly stated that atoms couldn't be broken up, but he correctly stated that each element was made of different atoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In the early 1900s, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron. And it was J.J. Thompson who famously theorised the incorrect model of the atom, which he called the Plum Pudding Model. So the Plum Pudding Model suggested that there was a sphere of positive charge, positive charge, and that within the sphere of positive charge were negative electrons. That has now been shown to be completely wrong. And that within the sphere of positive charge and that within the sphere of positive charge were negative electrons. That has now been shown to be completely wrong. And this was known as the plum pudding model, which has now been proven to be completely wrong. And in 1909, Ernest Rutherford discovered that the atom actually had a positively charged nucleus. So all atoms had positively charged nuclei, and that electrons surrounded the positively charged nuclei. Ernest Rutherford in 1909 discovered that the nucleus was a positively charged nucleus. And this is the model of the atom that we still use today. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.